two, y'all can come with Julio Fulio, the Demon of Jacksonville. Before we get into the video, we're gonna go ahead and say RIP to my boy Fulio. Um, I can't say that we are surprised, but one thing that I did take from his death and how he lived is always watch what you put out into the world, bro. Uh, he was living wild, bro. He was living insane. Um, he was one of those kind of rappers who, you know, uh, celebrate the death, like dead, talk on dead people, and you know. When you put the energy out to the world, bro, it's gonna come back to you. But let's go ahead and get into the video. Welcome to new people, new subscribers. Ugh. Rappers talk crazy in the booth, but never really live that life. But Julio Fulio is the opposite. That nigga got shot like one of the deadliest times. wars in rap history and survived four shootouts. But most fans have no idea how wild his story really is. Today, we're breaking it all down and okay. diving into why his ops are terrified. Julio came up on the north side of Jacksonville in one of the most active areas of the city called Six Block. Okay. He told Cam Capone News that he lost his first homie at just 15 years old. Uh, and by the time he was 20 years old, he already lost 15 of his friends to the streets. 15? After he got kicked out of school in ninth grade, Julio got sent to an alternative school in Hop Territory. And that's when some crazy stuff went down. On the first day of school, someone from the Op Hood got killed waiting for the bus, and Julio started dissing them all over social media. A lot of people at school thought Fulio had something to do with the hit, and he ended up getting into a fight over it. Throwing hands is one thing, but after the last bell rang, the situation took a wild turn. Fulio hopped on the bus, but the ops was following him. And while he was walking down the street, someone started letting off shots at him and his homies. Nigga, do you know how crazy Fulio that is? Fulio in the leg and knocked his hip out of place, so he had to crawl away while the shooter was still busting in shots. His hip? Fulio made it to the front yard of a woman who lived in the neighborhood and asked for help, but she just told him to get off her property and wouldn't do anything for him. Fulio passed out and woke up to the cops and EMT surrounding him. Then he blacked out again and woke up in the hospital. The ops wasn't the only ones who thought he was involved with the murder that went down that morning. What? And the police started questioning him over the situation. Eventually, Fulio proved that he was just going to school that morning and didn't catch the body. But after that day, his whole life took a brutal turn. Fulio actually tried working a normal job in the factory for a little while. But it only lasted a few months and he went right back to the street. Right, you know what I'm thinking about, bro? How many mistakes niggas make at like ages of 15, 16, 17, 18, nah, shit, your whole teens, even your early 20s, bruh. Imagine all the mistakes you done made, all the dumb things you done said, did, and like one dumbass decision like that, like um, mocking the dead, can end a nigga life at 15. Which I know, like, this levels to like, like, dumbass shit you could do. Like, me, bro, like, I'm not gonna speak on no dead because, nigga, I respect the dead, nigga. Like, you feel me? Like, nigga, if you live, nigga, shit, nigga, I ain't got, I ain't got nothing. Like, even if we had some beef, bro, kudos to you, bro. Hey, I can't speak on it. Cause, like, hell nah, I, I, bro, I'm not finna get that comment on me, my nigga. I got his family and shit, too. But, one thing I can't say, though, is that, Bro, you got to watch how you move, bro. I don't care if, if who, what you think you. And some people think they safe because, like, yes, you might not be in that environment, but people, people envy you, bro. Like, regardless of if you are in the sur suburbs, um, if you in a rural area, no matter where you at, bro, people gonna find a way to hate on you on something. You might have a bigger house than them. People might be in secret competition with you. But the one thing you can do is not give a fuck. Do not care. The one thing I'm always teach y'all, bro, stop caring. Don't care what these people say on social media. Don't care what these people say in real life, bro. As long as you know what you live in and what you doing on a daily basis, fuck what everybody else gotta say. Fuck, fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Because listen, you know how hard you're going. You know what you're doing to get your money. You, bro, fuck them. Because look, listen, at the end of the day, People don't know you, and people don't know your life. So why, why is you, especially on on the internet? Why is you worried about what people say? If people call you ugly on the internet, oh fucking well, nigga. You know, you know how many bitches will fuck you in your state, like, or how many, or how many niggas will fuck you in your state, like, but it's it's insane. Like, why is you worried about this internet shit? But see, 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 I'm going to rant. My bad, my bad. Let me fix my camera. Julio went deeper into the streets and started rapping at the same time. I got that. I got at first, it was just something he was doing on the side. But after a couple of his early tracks started popping off, he realized that it could be his ticket out of the trenches. Mm. Around the same time Julio was getting a buzz in the city, another rapper named Young and Ace was laying down tracks, trying to get his name popping. 
but instead of linking up and putting on for Jacksonville together, they split the city in half and dozens of bodies have dropped on both sides. Everything allegedly started with Julio's cousin Zion Brown getting killed in 2017. Zion was at his crib when a dude named DeAndre Thomas threw a brick through the window and started letting off shots. Damn! Two girls in the house got hit and survived, but Zion tragically didn't make it out alive. Ace and Thomas was tight, and in 2018, they both got hit with charges for allegedly robbing a weed dealer and letting off shots. Ace skated on the case, but a few months later, he suffered a brutal loss that took his beef with Julio to the next level. Ace, his brother, and two of his best friends went out to eat and celebrate his homie's birthday. And when they left the spot, a shooter rode up on them and dumped a clip into their car. Ace got hit eight times, but he was the only one who wasn't killed. Many After men. it went down, Julio many, sent some shots into social media. He told Say Cheese TV yeah. that he didn't feel bad about it because he knew they'd do the same thing if he was the one who got killed. Mm. Even though he was dissing Ace's dead homies, Julio said the beef wasn't that deep. But what happened next proved that wasn't the case. I don't want that shit. The nigga said what? They do the same thing. Julio sent some shots on social media, and he told Say Cheese TV that he didn't feel bad about it because he knew they do the same thing if he was the one who got killed. Mm. Even though he was dissing Ace's dead homies, Julio said the beef wasn't that deep. How but what hell? happened next proved that wasn't the case. Nigga, in January what? 2019. How you gonna, how you gonna diss the nigga dead homies? He's like, man, the beef not even that deep with me, bro. Like. Shit, like, I was just saying what I had to say, bro. Like, that shit, like, nigga, what the hell? Like, it's like, bro, anybody, if anybody, if you speak on anybody dead family members, bro, or anybody dead friends, you feel like, deep that nigga, but, oh, no, that nigga's just playing, bro. Just, <laughs> nigga, what? What are you talking about? And Boss Goon was shot in Jacksonville outside a nightclub. He had just been released from prison after serving a decade behind bars. Nigga and said, his own dad got hit up in the same shooting that killed him. Boss Goon was the older brother of Ace's homie, K-So, who was allegedly one of the top shooters in Ace's ATK crew. K-So already had a rep in the streets, but after his brother died, he allegedly clapped back and killed one of Fulio's best friends. Damn! Lil Bibby was always hanging around Fulio, even though his homie K-Shorty warned him to stay away. Fulio was already one of the most hated dudes in the city, and K-Shorty knew that Bibby could get caught up in all- I'm telling nigga, I, bro. Like, like a bully, like grades and shit. Like, am I tripping? the drama and have a target on his back too. Unfortunately, Bibby ain't listen. And in February, 2019, a shooter walks him down outside his apartment building and started letting off shots. He tried to get away, but the shooter ran up and killed him in broad daylight. Ace and Sai started dissing Bibby like crazy. K-So dropped the track K-So bitch and raps. And you know we smoke little Bibby bitch, K-So bitch. Glocks and Rugers, we be hitting shit. We slipping shit. Don't run, we chase you down, we blitzing shit. We blizzing shit, don't be bibbied out. We hitting shit, and shots a little bitch, bibbied out. Now, K So is facing a murder charge for killing Bibby. Plus, he's fighting another case for allegedly killing another one of Fulio's homies named Lil Buck. Then Fulio's side allegedly clapped back by taking out Ace's homie, Leaky. Leaky was one of Fulio's biggest ops, and Leaky allegedly even shot his girlfriend's finger off. Damn! Bruh, wait, how the fuck you made it? How, how good of an aim you gotta have to do some shit like that? Like, right, cause I'm trying to think, like, how the fuck? Was you purposely aiming for, like, damn, shot it off? Damn. Oh, yeah, bro. The streets ain't for me, bro. I need all my fingers, bro. The streets is not for me. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing y'all need to learn, bro, too. Like, even if you don't got no ops, bro, don't post where you live. Don't post where you at. Um, until you leave that place, like, hours after. Yeah, bro, that's always a, that's always what I do. I don't post anything. Nigga, I don't have ops that I know about. That, that, that's, that's what I say. I don't say I don't have ops because nigga, I don't know. Cause niggas, niggas might not like me for some goddamn reason. So I don't say I, I have, I have ops. But I have, I don't think I have ops personally. But anyway, um, I don't post anything. What I do, where I'm at, until I leave that place. Nigga, you think I'm gonna be like, guys, I'm at the concert. Yeah. Nigga, the only way you can find out I'm at the concert at that damn moment is if you see my dumb ass. And nigga, if you see me, hey, shit, hey, God got me, amen. God, God, God is watching over me. Listen, I, I keep the, I keep the cross on me, my boy. Plus, I keep a Bible on me. Plus, I keep that, yeah, that, yeah. I can't say too much, but I keep that, yeah, uh, uh, ain't no way. In April 2020. 
Julio's girlfriend, Bubin, was driving his whip when the shooter rode through and started letting off shots at her and her friend. Bubin tried to drive off and duck away from the bullets. Oh, she, she ended up getting hit in the head, knee, and even lost a finger. Damn! Rumor said that Leaky was the one who put up on that. And his homie spinning bands this Julio over it on the track I Don't Smoke Kendra and raps. This nigga mama got shot and he's still tweaking. This nigga bitch got shot. Cool, I know she leaving. They shot that whole finger off. She couldn't even tweet it. Ooh. A month after Bubin got hit, Leaky allegedly kills another dude from six block named Three Five. Three Five was just posted on the block with some homies when the shooter hopped out of a whip and hit all of them. Three Five's homies survived, but unfortunately, he didn't make it out. According to some people, Leaky was one of the most active dudes in the city, and he allegedly took out another op one month after 3 5 died. A rapper named Jump Out Squeeze had just dropped a diss track against Leaky and some of his homies. Then 10 days later, he was murdered while trying to apply for a job at an Amazon warehouse. This nigga got killed for trying to apply for a job. This shit's wild, bruh. This shit's wild, bruh. Nigga was trying to get a damn job, but nigga can't even get a damn. This shit is crazy. He's trying to get out the streets, bro. This is like a, bro, this is like a, um, a Netflix movie, like a, a classic hood movie. Nigga trying to change his life around. He trying to get out the streets. And then right when he about to get out the streets, nigga die. Like, what the hell? Nigga, nigga walking into Amazon. And nigga like, oh, you thought she was going to change your life, bitch? Boom, boom. And nigga, boom, boom. I just, I ain't know it, but. Leaky was putting on crazy pressure in the street, and in September 2020, it all cut up to him when he was killed sitting right next Nigga, to the Nigga, ain't COVID going on way in the house. He was with some other homies when another car pulled up and started letting off shots. And by the time they was finished, Leaky was dead. Nobody was ever booked for the murder, but Leaky's sister claims that Julio was involved with the hit. Mm. After he died, Julio hopped on Rod K's track all gas and rapped. Shot my car up twice, then hit my bitch. Now Leaky, rest in peace. Mm. And he named a song after Leaky and said, 100K, don't shake the room. Sweep this block, we don't need no broom. Mm. They asked me how high I am, I'm Leaky hot, I'm to the moon. Getting Leaky out of the picture was a big win for Fulio and Six Block. But then they suffered two more losses back to back. Fulio's homie spazzed two times, was found shot to death at the Hilltop Village Apartments where Bibby died. Then the very next day, Rod K was killed in the same place. After it went down, spinning fans dropped the track, I don't smoke Kendra and raps. Rod K died, he was spinning, guess he freezed up. Fuck his last words, cool. The last thing he seen was us. Damn. Spaz two times got dropped, how we do that? Scroll. I, I be trying to think, bro. When y'all be making these damn songs, like, y'all know it's not just y'all niggas gonna hear that song, right? Like, you know the police, the, um, the DA, the, um, the, the your lawyers, um, all, all these. I nigga, how do I, if I'm your lawyer, how do I defend this shit? Nigga said the last thing he seen was us, and then they pulled us up in the, um, in the courtroom, and they asked me to defend this. I'm like, what do you want me to say? What do you, what, 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 I'm like, spin the bitch. What do you want me to say, my nigga? You literally just told these niggas the last thing this nigga seen was y'all. Nigga, like, like, what up? How can I use that metaphorically, hyperbolically? Nigga, how can, what, what, what can I say to that? My nigga, like, this, this nigga, what? <laughs> Only through his phone in Hilltop, thought you knew that. The violence in Jacksonville was getting crazier every day, but Fulio wasn't safe even when he left the city. In 2020, he was out in Houston when the ops pulled up and tried to take him out. How the he hell? His whip and Houston. Him in the net. But Fulio hopped right back on social media to clown the ops for not finishing the job. Bitch, uh, nigga shot me, but he didn't kill him. I'm Kendrick. <laughs> Just fucking stupid. As soon as Fulio got hit up, rumors were flying and Ace and his crew was behind it. And when they dropped the track, who I smoked, Fast Money Goon basically confirmed the rumor and rapped. I told the rocket when I traveled, I'm pistol packing in Houston. I was lurking on his page and caught him lacking in Houston. We let off shots, he got shot and went live. I was tweaking like, fuck man, that bitch ain't died. Mm. Who I smoked took the war in Jacksonville to another level. It's one of the most savage diss tracks of all time. And after it popped off and went viral, more people started paying attention to what was going down in the city. Young and Ace, Spin Up Benz, Waffle with the Chopper, and Fast Money Goon all took shots at Fulio and his dead homies. And even Fulio admitted that the track was cold. Fulio wasn't just gonna take the shots without responding though. Ain't gonna lie. And a few weeks his later, he went crazy back too. to the track when I see you and took the disrespect to another level. <laughs> Fulio started off the video with the news report. Do you know how much of a hating ass nigga you gotta be 
to make a video. One on this nigga birthday. Two to kill a nigga on his birthday. Three to make a poster to put his dead picture on it. Four to actually go to the damn grave site and to, bruh. Hey, that's why I said, bruh. Listen, you can't listen. It's all right, Peter, this nigga. But you can't say you surprised when this nigga, when, when these niggas moving like this. Like, it's, it's one thing to be like, damn, this nigga over here died. Like, this nigga was out the way. But there's another thing to be like, this nigga was actually provoking these niggas to be like, yo, y'all niggas, y'all niggas spawn on me and I still ain't die. I nigga weak. Nigga, y'all boy, come harder next time. Nigga, come harder. Pause, nigga. But he like, nigga, come harder. Nigga, I'm still, I'm still on live. What y'all doing? Nigga, what, what y'all celebrating for? Nigga, I'm still here. That nigga's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. They call, didn't they call this nigga the Grim Reaper? Nigga. Shit. About their shooting that left Ace's brother and two homies dead. He also printed out a flyer with their pictures on it and danced in front of it while dissing them with lines like Ace from the West, how he picked up with the East Side. He ain't been the same since he's seen the other three die. Bitch, I'm two, three high. Bitch, say your goodbye. Get that boy to business like a suit and a bow tie. Like them boys blocked up like the 4th of July. They got caught lacking. The whole world want to know why. Mm. 2021 was when the beef went viral. And Fulio took a chance to send all kinds of crazy shots at Ace and his homies. On his remix of the track Beatbox, I heard this Fulio and his homie Kojak dis Queso's brother Boss Goon and raps. Rolling dead ops, he caught a headshot. Big Boss gone, we got him scared now. He was dissing in them songs, what he saying now? AR with the 50 round, knock his dread off. And then Fulio name drops a bunch of dead ops and said, Prosper got shot, Tay got shot, oh, Desi got dropped, Nate got popped, Leaky got shot, Spaz face high. I actually remember this Corbin song. got kidnapped. I that part. They found his bones. He was rotten. Corbin Johnson was a dude affiliated with the same set as Lil Leaky. That's nasty. Just like Jump Out, Leaky allegedly killed. One of the last places Corbin was seen alive was at the Amazon warehouse. He had an interview that day, but after he left his mom's crib around 9.30 that night, he was never seen again. They put a missing persons report out on him two days later, but nobody found him until the next year. Exactly. The next year? The next year? What the? What y'all want me? What the hell? Nigga, what? So y'all killed this man. Took that nigga. And I don't even know what y'all niggas did. That shit's crazy. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Julio, I was not familiar with y'all with y'all niggas, bro. What the hell? What the hell? And now that this nigga dead, I'm just picturing like niggas finna turn the fuck up. Like, oh my god. The street is dangerous, boy. The street is dangerous, boy. The streets is dangerous. I did not know this boy. One year after he disappeared, Corbin's body was found in the woods, wrapped up in a plastic bag. Nobody knows who actually took him out, but Fulio's been dissing him ever since. Fulio kept the pressure up on the rap side when he dropped the track, List of Dead Ops, in October 2021. Everyone already knew that the disrespect in the Jacksonville drill scene was on another level, but Fulio took everything even further and dissed over 30 dead ops. He started it off by- 30, nigga? 30, 30? Nigga, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so he went down the list? Damn! Bro, what the hell? What the- 30, nigga? Nigga, where, where the cops? Nigga, what the hell? Nigga, how the hell you got- How you kill 30 niggas and the cops still don't know? Bro, sometimes I just be like- when I get pulled over, bro, I just play, like, nigga. Don't you got bigger problems than me, nigga? Nigga going, nigga, I'm going like 15, 5, 10 over. Nigga, this a nigga over there fucking getting killed. Nigga, go get him. Like, what the hell? I dissing a dude named Big Baby and some other ops. Big Baby's the one who got murdered on Fulio's first day at the new school. And on the track, he ran. First day. Five got hit in the head. He tried to swim at the pool. Big Baby got caught in the morning at the bus, was going to school. Juana died in the suburbs, remember that shit hit the news. Top got hit in his top, done. He should have had a tool. Back in 2016, 
Julio's op, Malcolm was killed in a shootout on 2nd Avenue in the northwest area of Jacksonville. He took a shot at him and Corbin on the same track and said, Malcolm died on 2nd, they taught his bitch ass a lesson. Hey, Corbin got kidnapped, how the fuck a grown man go missing? Then he aired out a dude named Eldridge who allegedly got ran down on for snitching on his homies and rapped. Eldridge died, he was snitching. Either way, he was gonna get it. Julio wasn't gonna leave Ace out of it though, and he sent more shots with the line. Can't forget 2-3, Juan, and 4 in the back seat. Hey, Ace only one survived. See, that nigga blessed if you ask me. Uh, if he's still trying to be, remember, you lost three. Damn! In 2015, Julio's op Desi was found shot multiple times in the head and face. His dad was actually a retired cop, but Desi had all kinds of charges hey, like carrying a concealed firearm, These niggas listen to these arrest, songs too, bro. Julio dissed him on the track, plus a dude named Freddie Patterson who had dissed Lil Baby on a song in the past. After Freddie dropped the disc, someone knocked on his front door and murdered him when he answered it. Fulio found both of them and rapped. All the new ops go ahead. Niggas. Somebody knocked on this nigga door and murdered this nigga? Nigga said, nigga walk to the door, who is it? Boom. Yo. Yeah. See, bro, there's so many. There's so many life lessons that I've learned just watching these videos, bro. Like, no cap. Like, now I understand, like, why, like, we move the way we move at our house. Like, like, when, my mom, like when somebody not, bro, my mom, everybody in the damn house, like, um, even, like, shit, not even just, like, at my mom's house, like, even my grandma, my aunt, bro, everybody do this. They be like, somebody not, do go to the door. Do not go to the door. You be like, wherever you at, whenever they knock, you yell, who is it? Who is it? If they don't answer, you don't open that goddamn door. I don't give a damn. Like, do, do not walk into that door. Don't be like, it makes so much sense. I never understood it, but I never questioned it either. Because, like, we, it was just a thing that we always did. Wow. Hey, nigga. Wow. Fucking shit. Tampa Bay. Desi ass tried to run, died in the yard, should have had his gun. Freddie said he smoked a bibby. Now his big dumb ass in my lungs. Julio was already one of the most hated dudes in Jacksonville, but all the distance made the target on his back even bigger. And one month after he dropped List of Dead Ops, two shooters caught him outside the studio and let off over 100 shots. Julio told DJ Academics, I walk out the studio, I'm walking down like the carport to my car. As soon as I get to sit down a little bit, niggas go blowing. Blah, 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 blah. Anytime I walk anywhere, I got my gun in my hand, walking well in Jacksonville. Like, this is how you gotta be. You have it in your hand or you have it on your purse? In my hand. So I lean back, oh, I'm gonna go to shooting back. I shoot my whole clip and shit. Both of the other shooters ran off and Julio shot back. And after they left, he hopped right on social media. You nigga not no shooters. I got my whole clip on my dad. Stop playing with me, nigga. And I ain't get hit, hit. I got grades in the leg. Stop playing. I'm gonna trade you, nigga. I got my whole clip, nigga. Julio's ops in Jacksonville ain't the only dudes he has to worry about, though. A you know how fucking out, crazy you gotta be? Guys trying to press you know how fucking crazy you gotta be to get fucking, like, nigga, you got set up. You sit in your car. So, y'all, imagine, like, just watch me. Like, listen, I walk in, I walk in, open the door to my car, sit my black ass down, boom, shut the door, boom. <laughs> nigga, I'm just... Nigga, that's a fucking machine gun, but fuck it, we're gonna, we're gonna keep it going. <laughs> I up my pole, boom, 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 just keep shooting back. And then for my dumb ass to get on live and be like, bro, y'all niggas hoes, bro, y'all niggas only fucking great, it's my fucking leg, my nigga. Nigga, I'm shook. Shook up. Nigga, I'm shook. Nigga, nigga, nigga just fucking, nigga, have y'all ever had y'all adrenaline so high that even like hours, months, like not even months, well, it could be sometimes, but sometimes shit just get crazy. But like, for like a week or for like a couple of days after your journey is still high, you gotta calm yourself down. Nigga, nigga that would've been cooked. I would've been, wait, what? Nigga, I would've apologized to the streets. Tell the streets, I'm my bad, nigga. I was familiar with your game. Nigga, I didn't know this came with the streets. Like, nigga, what? Nigga, nigga came out there and said, nigga, come harder. Look at, like, do y'all know it's like a trend with this nigga? Every time this nigga get shot up, he just be like, nigga, Come harder, my nigga. Nigga, y'all only grazed me this time. Last time, nigga, y'all didn't even hit it. Nah, it was good. Y'all did good. This time, you hit me. You grazed me. But, nigga, can you hit me? Hit me, please. Julio in the mall and make him crash out of the camera. But Julio kept it cool and didn't react. Around the same time, a viral clip came out where Julio allegedly tried to run up on NBA Youngboy for not checking in. Fulio and his crew rolled up on Youngboy's hotel and the situation got tense. 
Luckily, nothing serious went down, but fans were worried that young boy was gonna get wrapped up in the war in Jacksonville too. It turns out that the whole thing was just a misunderstanding though. Youngboy was saying Fulio in his tracks, and fans tagged Fulio and said Youngboy was dissing. Fulio is just a slang term where Youngboy comes from, no, and he wasn't even talking about Fulio. Fulio went on no jumper. He had a show in Jazzville, bro. And I went pulling up on some old check-in. The internet made that check-in shit, bro. So when I pulled up on him, I'm pulling up on him to see, like, what do Fulio mean? Like, that's what we trying to ask him. He also talks about the mall video and said they had the dudes recording him outnumbered and could have handled it easily if they really wanted smoke. It's two of them. Two, three of them. It's like six, seven of us. So we're going to beat y'all ass. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's not no problem. And if y'all take it, though, we're going to take it, though. But it's just the point, bro. Like, you got on the anchor monitor. You in the full court. You right here. You want to do the most. Let's at least take it out the side or some shit. Yeah. But what you want to do, you want to go live, this, this, and that. So if anything happened, they come to Fulio. Fulio wasn't going to get into it with some random dude. But when the rapper from Louisiana links up with his ops, he ain't hesitated to start sending shots. Jaden Youngin was popping uh, off and made headlines for beefing with NBA Youngboy before his tragic death in 2022. But a few years before that, he linked up with Young and Ace for a collab tape and even did Julio's dead homie Bibby and Ace. Oh yeah, that was Julio cool as hell. back on the track Crazy Story Part 6 and clown Jay for getting his chain snatched with the line. Jada Youngin, you a fucking bitch. Jit, you not on shit. Said fuck A, you from out of town, but now you on that list. Heard you got a baby on the way, cause you riding Ace dick. Got your chain snatched in Gainesville? Bitch, you not legit. Even after Jay was brutally shot and killed, Fulio hopped on Instagram to clown him. Fulio yeah. was known for dissing ops, getting in the shootouts, and all that. But he also knows how to move and not get into bad situations for no reason. That's Cap. The nigga just died a couple days ago. That nigga was going live, nigga saying his, ad, his address. I remember he just stopped caring. And that, that, that nigga left a fucking demon right here. My bad, boy. I didn't mean to follow. I didn't mean to get you in this life. My bad, my bad. But shit, it do fit the description. My nigga, it do fit the description. In the streets and the industry, too. He talked to Cam Capone News about not feeding into all the drama on social media. He talked about how he once turned down a $150,000 deal with Quality Control Records because it wasn't right for him. He from QC flew Fulio out to Atlanta and offered him a bunch of cash. But Fulio knew he needed to learn how the industry really worked before he signed with anyone. Right. All kinds of labels were reaching out to him, but Fulio didn't want to give away his masters and let someone else decide when he could release music. Now we got a deal that works for him on the industry side of things, but he still got a target on his back in Jacksonville and almost died again in 2023. On October 8th, 2023, Fulio's mom popped on Instagram and broke the news that he had been shot and asked for prayers from his fans. Rumors were flying that he was in terrible year, condition and might not make it out of this one a lot. But then his mom posted a photo of Fulio in the hospital and wrote, y'all know he good. A viral photo of the bullet wound in his foot was going around and everyone thought he was going to lose it. But luckily it seems like he'll be able to keep it. After he started recovering, Fulio hopped on social media and posted a photo of his foot all bandaged up and wrote, all this money on my head, I post a band dead. All this money on my head, I post a band dead. Which was a reference to K Soul's track, Ben Dead. According to news reports, the ops waited for Fulio and ambushed him when they spotted his whip. It's not clear who's behind the shooting yet, but there will always be people in. And the crazy thing is, bro, you can't post your car neither, bro. You can't even post your damn car. Nigga, when you post your car, bro, niggas, who, niggas looking out for that shit, bro, you could, nigga. You gonna get your ass boy. Nigga, bro, the only, bro, the only way you can do some shit like this is if you fucking smart, bro. Like, you, you, like, and even then, bro, like, you know how easy it is to spot a nigga car? Especially if you got, like, a specific kind of car that's look different from all the rest, my nigga. Nigga, yeah. we know it's you. We chasing that shit, bro. You gotta watch it, bro. You gotta watch it. Your every move, bro. And, like, I feel like, nigga, even if, even if, like, you're not in the streets, right? You say you get money, right? Say you get, like, a lot of money. What did you not be paranoid? I'll be paranoid. Like, I thought I'd be extra paranoid. Like, I'm paranoid now, but I'd be extra paranoid. I'm like, bro. Bro, this nigga trying to get my da, 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 da. Like, and it might not even be the case, but I feel like you gotta move like that, just in case, literally, just in case. Jacksonville, who wanna see him dead? Fulio has survived getting shot four times in eight years. So far, he's been getting lucky and making it out alive, but hopefully he switches up how he moves and stops getting caught up in crazy situations. He did, bro. He did. He did not, um, 
If y'all enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if y'all left in here with any life lessons. Um, I wanted to record this video not to bash, bro, not to put him in a dark light. Um, it's mainly just because, like, you know, he, bro, just passed. And I, and then the video popped on my timeline. So I was like, man, might as well um, react to him. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions down below. I love y'all. Stay safe. And I'll see you next video. We out. Ugh.